hi this is digital by computing you'll see this error message vSphere client cannot be installed on a domain controller if you're trying to install a version of vSphere onto a domain controller uh, so it also gives you a little message here if um, it requires Windows XP service pack 2 or later which obviously that doesn't relate to us so there is a quick and easy way to force your um, installation of VMware uh, vSphere to install onto a domain controller. So this was put in place by Microsoft, but it's an easy way to do it. So what you need to do is you actually need to pass a, um, a switch on your installer to uh, uh, ignore the operating system and not check it. So I've got the installer on my C drive. Okay, that's VMware viclient.exe. Okay. And I want to pass a v skip, which is a version skip underscore os underscore check s equals one, like so. Okay, so let's just close this out. And we'll press enter. And yes. So that is now going to go through the same installer and we should be good to go. So you'll see we've already got one step further, so it has ignored that check, and you should be able to just next, accept your agreement, and install away. All right, so that will now go and install it, and you should be able to open up your vSphere client on a domain controller. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.